Welcome to Glen Thorn. It's been a big day for you. Just tell me how you're feeling. I'm excited to have a big day for me and my family. Uh, can't wait to get started here. It's been a crazy 24 hours, I'd say. Uh, didn't know much about it until last night and everything has come on very quick and I'm very happy to be here now. And just tell us how it came about. You've maybe been dealing with Paul Miller and, and Mick as well, of course. Yeah, well, I came in from training last night and I had a call in the front door from a friend of mine. And he says, listen, Mick and Paul want to speak to you. And I was like, right, okay, we'll go speak to them. So I came over last night and I was speaking to them and got to know them. They seemed like lovely guys. And uh, I went home. Me and my missus were uh, having a chat and the decision was made uh, I think it was best for me to come here. You've been here for a while now, seeing about today. What have you made of the Oval and the, the improvements as well? You've seen the Performance Centre and the new changing rooms. It's it's incredible. It's like, uh, there's just a buzz about the place uh, and the fans seem like they're up for it. Everybody's uh, heading in the right direction, and same as the club. And obviously it's an exciting time to be at Glenthorne. We're, we're sitting well in the league at the minute. You're hoping to hopefully come in and, and make your impact to, to help the Glens kick on. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I hope to do. I hope to be brought in, uh, play my football well, help the team stay where they are, and push on, try and win as much trophies as I can. And obviously the fans know you from your time at Cliftonville, your two spells are. Is, is there anything they can ex expect from you? Um, just really hard work. I'll work for any club I play for. Uh, I actually can't wait to just step out and put the shirt on uh, and get it going, really. But, like I said, if I'm doing well, the club's doing well, fans will be happy and let's go.